Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the error interval of a rounded number. So let's read the question first. A number x when rounded to two decimal places is equal to 0.48. Find the error interval of x. Now what the error interval means is the possible values of x. So what could have x been before it was rounded to 0.48? Now, in previous videos, we looked at the lower bound and the upper bound of a number. So the lower bound is the smallest value that x could have been before it was rounded to 0.48. Now, do you remember the little trick? If you're rounding to decimal places, you just reduce the last digit by 1, so 0.47, and then stick a 5 on the end, and that will give you the lower bound. And if we round this value to two decimal places, it would give you 0.48. Whereas if we had any lower it wouldn't round to 0.48. So this is the lowest that x could have been. And remember the upper bound, the little trick was you just shove a five on the end, so it's 0.485. So that's the smallest value and the largest value that x could have been. Now, if we want the possible values of x, the error interval of x, we can do that with an inequality. So we're gonna say that x is between, and I worry about exactly whether these are less than or less than or equal to in a second. X is somewhere between 0.475 and 0.485. Now, let's consider the boundaries. Can x be equal to 0.475? Well, yes, it can, because if x was 0.475, it would round to 0.48 two decimal places. So x could be that value. So therefore, x is greater or equal to 0.475. But could x be 0.485? Well, no, because 0.485 would actually round to two decimal places to 0.49. So we want any value of x that's just below 0.485, effectively 0.4849 recurring. So therefore, we don't want to include that value, but we want to include every value up to that value, even if not including. So that is the final answer. So x is between your lower bound and upper bound. This should be less or equal to, this should be less than.